today I'm going to teach you how to rig your low poly character. Let's go. So here we are over on render. First off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift A and go down to armature and single bone. Okay. Now this will just uh, have a bone here and we can just go tab to go to edit mode and then drag this bone up. This is going to be for like the pelvis and then this will be for like the top of the body. So we can select this and then just press W subdivide and I'll drag this up to like three and then you could select like each individual point like this. Uh, cool. So I'm actually just drag that down uh, like there. Maybe that will work better. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go extrude this out for the neck and then the head. Okay. So there we have the head. And then what you can do, like if you want to have a jaw bone, I'm just going to duplicate this and then just go move this down like that. And this will be for the jaw. So for the arms and legs, what you're going to do is... Usually, it's better just to select a bone. So like this is the pelvis, we're gonna do this with the legs. Just shift D and then move it over and then select the bone and drag it down. So like here, cool. And then we can position it there. Usually you want to have like a, a, like a bend kind of thing when you have your bones, just make sure that has it or it's not gonna, uh, when you move your legs, it's not gonna work properly, especially using RK. Uh, but yeah, so try to keep them relatively straight or you can have problems later. Uh, so there, and you can screw this down for the foot and then out for the toe. So just GX to make sure it lines up. Cool. And then we can do the same thing for the arm. Just shift D and then G, move it and then extrude it out again. And then for the hand, and then for the fingers like this. If you want some more precise placements, you can like select parts and then just go shift S curse to, wait, shift S curse to selected and then select the bone and selection to cursor and then I'll move it for you. That's very helpful if you want to line up stuff quickly. So just move everything here. And then we want to make sure we parent it properly because right now you see if we move this upper body, it doesn't work, but here so go to edit mode select this arm then select the part you want it to be parented to then control p and keep offset okay and then we i think we have most of it done let's just make a uh what's it a thumb so just shift s go to selected go back to the rig shift d shift s because selection to cursor and they do the same thing so shift s selection to cursor select this Shift S, and uh, then extrude, Shift S, selection cursor, and cool, there. So now what we have to do is we have to name everything as well. So uh, what we're gonna do is just go to edit mode, select the bone, and then like this will be sa.l, and then this will be calf.l, foot.l, toe.l, this will be, I don't know, up, uh, arm dot L lower arm dot L uh, hand dot L up fingers dot L lower fingers dot L up thumb dot L lower thumb dot L uh, okay uh, the body isn't as important but probably you still should do it so pelvis torso then you have neck, head, and jaw. The jaw you want to have parented to the head bone like that. Keep offset. Cool. And then we can go to edit mode, select the legs and the arms like this. And then goes armature, symmetras. And now you have it mirrored over properly. Okay. And then we have a pretty decent rig. Now, what we have to do is also set up some RK for the legs. So just go to edit mode and then select these two parts, the, the back heel and just extrude Y like this. Okay, now select both of them and press Alt P and a clear parent. Uh, that will just make sure that they aren't parented to the legs anyway. And then I'm gonna name this leg RK dot L 
and then copy this paste it across at the r and then now what we can do is go to pose mode so let's press control tab and then select the, the rk bone and then select the, the calf then control p or i think it's shift r to axe of bone and now you set up a rk now you can see this will basically position it to wherever you kind of want it to go and then we can do the same thing for the other side shift r to axe of bone if you see this yellow line doesn't like connect to the top of the leg it like connects to the body and it like is all weird so i can show you here uh if it was ah it would have done that anyway look here so if this was still set to zero then what would have happened is it would have done this so what you want to do is set the chain length to two because you only have two bones in your leg so we have it working properly like this so we can set it up there and now you can see we don't have any problems and we can like move everything properly now if you want this to work even better you can go select the knees and extrude it out like this and then select uh, them and alt p clear parent and then drag them forward these are called pole targets now if i go add uh, pole target dot l select it paste its name in dot r now if we go to this rk bone and we change the pole target to armature and then pole target dot l we're gonna need to change the pole angle so i think it's negative 90 in this case just to get it to be straight again and then armature and pole target dot r i think this is also negative 90 and yeah now we don't have any problems but now what happens is when we move these uh, if we have it properly sometimes you just have to move it in slightly but you can see we can like kind of command where we want the knee to be and it doesn't move around as much like weirdly uh if you still get problems you can just scale them in slightly until the legs actually move straight up and yeah cool click over here for a tutorial on how to weight paint your rig cheers